for my third design team project for Country Craft Creations using Cartabella's Halloween Market Paper Collection. Of course, I have all my scraps here, what's left on the sticker sheet, uh, the packages of ephemera, and uh, I don't know if I have any frames and tags. I have a few of those left. So I've got all this pulled out. And I'm going to use two 12 by 12 artisan cardstock in the black for my pages. I'm going to do the scrapbook layouts in the um, same size as I did last month. These are the Christmas ones that I made. And I'm going to make the same size. So the pages will be 8.5 tall by 6.5 wide. So I'm going to be making two Halloween ones. Last month I made two Christmas ones. So I'm going to cut these and get going on this. And... Uh, I invite you to join me in using up your scraps to make some little uh, smaller layouts for your scrapbook pages. So I have my two little scrapbook pages cut down and I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to put a pocket on one of these because I have an idea of that I want to add photo mats into the pocket because these are smaller pages and of course your 8.5 by 11 or your 12 by 12 your standard scrapbooks. So I took a scrap from the papers that I just cut. So my piece is nine and a half inches by three and a quarter. And put the nine and a half inch in at the top of your scoreboard and go ahead and score at a half inch. Turn it and score it half inch again on the other end. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and score it on the bottom. So on the three and a quarter inch side, score at just a half inch. So this will make the pocket. Okay, so that's all I need there. So next I'm going to cut the corners. So I don't want any bulk in there. So I just cut right across, cutting the corners out. And then I'm going to fold and check and see if I need to trim just a little more off. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Didn't want to fold. Let me get my bone folder. There we go. Burnish it. Fold. Looks pretty good right there. Let's see what this one does. Yeah, they work fine. So there's my pocket. So I'm going to take one of these pages and I'm going to kind of slide all my scraps out of the way. Make sure that you can see what's going on. So on the left side of this page, you could do this on a 12 by 12 if you wanted to. I'm going to take my glue now I have pulled out all the scraps from the Cartabella collection 12 by 12 collection that I had left over from a design team package but I've also pulled out some things from my uh, stash to use. And I put glue on all the flaps and I'm going to attach my pocket to the left side all the way to the cut edge of the page and lining it up top and bottom so it should fit right in there. So we're going to burnish that down to make sure it sticks and that gives us a pocket there. So now I'm going to off camera pick out my paper scraps that I want to use and get them ready to attach to this one side of this page. I've gone through my scraps so I have two pieces that are eight and a half long and this one ended up being two and a half and this one is two and a quarter. These three pieces are all two and five eighths wide. I have one that is three and a half, one that is two and three eighths, and then another one that is two and two and five eighths tall. So this is, I'm going to piece this pocket here. So first I'm going to put this one in. And I'm going to put the stripe one on first. I want it on the outside. So I'm going to use my glue. 
I'm going to put down my pattern paper first and then I'm going to add a bunch of decorative elements and um, some photo mats inside the pocket. So let's just touch this down. Oops. Let's scooch it over just a little bit. There we go. Get it straight and burnish it in. So this was a scrap. Could have been a little bit longer for this page layout, but I'm utilizing the scrap. So I'm going to go ahead and make that work. Now this is wider, but I'm going to put it inside of the pocket and put just a, leave a little black gap between them. I'm not going to put them up together. So get a good amount of glue here. And then we're going to slide this in. These page layouts that I'm making, I'm thinking they're going to be kind that I'm going to make plastic sleeves uh, to slide them in when I eventually make an album for them, or I'll put some kind of a binding piece on them. I haven't decided that yet, so I'm going to put the pumpkins on the bottom. I think I'll put the candies. And then last, the Halloween words. It says Haunted House. Though I did like the bats on the back, but I think I'll go ahead and do this Halloween words. So this is really quick and easy and now we just need to add our decorating and some photo mats. Now from the cardstock that I had, these are I've cut two that are um, about five and a half by seven. Let's see how they go. See they fit in there really good. And then I had others here. Uh, this one is about four and a quarter by six and a quarter, which are good for the your four by sixes. So those will fit in there. I have I have three of those. So now I'm going to set them aside, and I'm going to see what I want to put on this for decorating. I'm not going to decorate anything on this part here where the pockets slide in, but here I am going to put some decorating. So I'm going to uh, pause and look that over, and then I'll show you what I'm doing. So I have. Fixed, made some elements that I want to use. This is from the um, Ephemera Pact, a spooky night. So I matted it to some black cardstock to give it more strength. The uh, skeleton's from the sticker sheet, so I also matted him and fuss, loosely fussy cut out uh, his own cardstock. This is one of the tags. I tied in some of this orange and black with gold. Baker's twine and knotted it here, here, and then two separate knots down here. So I made this little tag. And this is from the sticker sheet, the haunted house and the trees. Again, I put it on black cardstock so it would be wouldn't be sticky. And this is also from the sticker sheet, the little three pumpkins. So we're going to use all this to create, decorate this pocket side. I also from my stash had this uh, epoxy sticker it says Happy Halloween. I like that. I put that on. Uh, black cardstock as well. So I'm going to take this and I am just going to glue it on to the top, about a third of it onto the pocket. And it's going to stick over onto the page. So I'm going to put this under that haunted house about right there. And that should be plenty of glue to hold that down. And the haunted house, I want it here, but I just want glue like on the side here and across the bottom. I'm going to kind of make a pocket and it doesn't go all the way across because again we don't want it sticking on the other side here. So I'm going to just stick it here so it kind of overhangs and I think that's where I'm going to stick my little 
tag like that into that pocket that that made and then we have a spooky night and again I'm going to make it a pocket and I'm going to do it about from midpoint and the end the left end and then just along the bottom so that makes a pocket and the rest of it sticks out down here and then I take my skeleton and I'm going to stick him in the pocket that I just made and he kind of hangs over the house and then I have the little pumpkins I'm going to stick them down in there with him also so we got that all stuck down so that that is the page decorated on the pocket side and then I took my bigger photo mats and this is from a scrap of paper I cut it down and I think I'm gonna make this a belly band so just whatever size your scraps are so the glue is gonna go just on the two ends and then a photo depending on what I have can either be slid underneath there okay or glue on top but probably on this one would be um, put underneath the belly band same thing on this one this this is going to be a belly band I'll move it up definitely could glue up uh, attach a photo over this if I decide to so I'm just going to put glue on two sides to leave that option open like that so I'll cut these to fit the width and it was the height of whatever the scrap of paper I had so we've got those and they're going to slide into this pocket just like that and then the four and a quarter by six and a quarter mats I decided to turn them into like a booklet so I took two scraps paper of paper cut them down to one inch wide whatever length they are you know I didn't cut them down they're three they were three and a quarter and I'm taking my three pages here and I'm gonna put glue on the back side of this hinge and then I'm going to attach it to the left side of this photo mat just somewhere in the center just eyeballing put the fold of the hinge along the edge of the photo mat burnish that in so your photo will glue over that no problem take the second one put glue on the back of this hinge right here and then layer this photo mat over that make sure it lines up and burnish and then we have one more hinge we'll do I'm going to open this up to make sure I've got it burnished here on the inside okay like that one and then one more now do I want to put it on this side or the other side I think I'll make them on the same side but you could do the opposite and kind of have a zigzaggy opening so glue on the back of your hinge oops I wanted that skeleton to be in the center so I need the glue on the back side of here I think I can get it on quick enough that it'll work <laughs> So I'm gonna, it, it doesn't matter if it matches up the other hinge. You're not going to see them at the same time. And then I'm going to put this one on top. Just like that. Line them up and burnish. Then I'm going to open it up and burnish on the inside here. Okay, so there I have my skeleton in there. But you can see it in the middle. Now this side I cut out a piece of paper. This is four by six pattern paper. I wanted some pattern paper in there and I glued on the shiny word creepy. This was from a stash. So you could cut something out like that out of your silhouette or cricket. And I'm gluing this on to the top side. You could leave it for a photo if you wanted to. I thought I would decorate it up a little bit and then this is just going to slide right in this pocket like that 
So that's the first page of the layout. And so I'm ready to start planning on working on the second one. For the next page layout, I decided I wanted to add some of the uh, ivory off-white artisan cardstock. So I took a sheet of that and I cut this down to uh, six and a quarter by eight and a half. And that's going to glue right down on the black because I wanted a little bit different look. I want them to go together, but I want the second page to look just a little bit different here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. And this page will only have one photo mat. So it's just for one photo. So I'm going to just take this and lay it right over the black and get it as even as I can on all the four sides. So we'll burnish that down. Make sure it's all smoothed out. And the next thing I think I want to do is take my black fine tip pen and make some little lines around the edges. So I'm just going to, it's not going to be even, I'm just going to kind of, and I don't care if they're not perfect, kind of wiggly. Some of it won't even show once it's all done. So I've got that like that. And then I'm ready to start doing some layering here. So I have here a spider web. This is from my stash. It's like some kind of party dwelly or something I've had. I bought a whole pack of them one year. So I have a whole bunch of them. So I'm just going to put dots of glue to get it to attach down in certain areas especially the center, the points. Because there'll be a lot of layering over it. So you're not going to see the whole thing. But I'm going to put it up here kind of to the top left. And then I have another half of a one that I think... I'm trying to just decide. Let me see my photo mat. I'm going to put it about right here on the right side. So I'm putting glue along the per, uh, edge of this one. So I'm along the point here and the swoop. Okay, and we want it turned out this way. Just kind of lay it in there. Okay, now then I'm going to do some papering. I'm going to put this strip, this is just from the scraps. It fits pretty good, it's about a half inch. So I'm just going to put glue on it, and it is sideways but with the pattern, but I don't care. It's got the little Halloween candies. So I'm going to put it about right in here. Okay, all right, then I have the haunting Halloween words, I'm going to lay that in there, because this is some of the papers cut left over with scraps that I had more of that match the other side that I've done. So I'm going to put this about right here. We've got the ghost. So like I said, these are all scraps. I'm just laying them in there. We'll see how it all turns out. And then I also have an orange stripe that I kind of wanted in. there. That's the 
the back side of the ghost. And let's see. Yeah, I want it to go sideways. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put my photo mat in. And mine is I cut it four and a quarter by five and a quarter and rounded the corners. Just going to kind of place it down over all this area. I can't see that good spider web over there on the other side. So that was kind of no need for that. But you never know when you're going to put one on uh, that you might need it to show. So then we got some more things we're going to layer up. I've got this spooky Halloween. I'm going to put this at the top and I'm just going to glue the top edge so that a photo can slip underneath it when you mat it down onto the photo mat. So I'm going to do it up here but slightly off of the actual mat. So I'm going to burnish that right there to make sure it sticks. And this is from my stash. This is another epoxy sticker because I wanted to kind of match the other side as well as this one. I did mat them onto black cardstock. So I have a little witch. And then I have this is from the uh, Halloween Market sticker sheet, Boo. And I put that on black cardstock. So I'm going to attach it right down here at the bottom. And the witch is going to go to the side of it. I'm not going to put glue on the top because it goes over onto the mat just a little bit. And I want to be able to make sure the picture can go underneath. Once I know which picture I'm going to use, put that right there. And the trick or treat is going to be the same way. I'm not going to put any glue on the top edge. kind of fits over there okay then we have some more banners here I want to add in I want to add a banner here a candy one on this other side right here These are from the ephemera packs that I had left over and I have this orange one and I'm going to put it right there. And I have this jack-o-lantern. I, I like it right in there. This was fussy cut out of the paper. gonna go right there okay cool and then I had this bow that I liked that I tied from the um, but um, Baker's twine I can't even think what to call it this orange and black with that gold and I'm just going to decide where I want to put it I think Like it right there. Do I want it here at the top? It does hide the spooky kind of. If I put it up higher, it'll be fine. I want to put it up here. So put a good amount of glue on the back side. And this is going to go right up in here. And let that dry. And then here and here, I think I want to just add some dots. So I've done this before. I'll take my black ink pad and my eraser on my pencil. And I'm just going to dot irregular looking dots here in the corner where it's white. Different sizes, it doesn't really matter. up in here and 
and a few right down here. Okay, so I think this layout page is finished. Okay, there it is, the second layout page. So let's put them both together and take a look. I'm going to clean off my eraser, get all that black ink off. I don't use that to erase with, I have a <laughs> regular eraser. So, I think that's it. Let me do it this way. Okay, I like how that turned out. Looks really cute. So it'd be cute in a, a little album I'm going to make someday. So I want to thank you so much for watching. This, like I said, this is my third project with my design team package from Country Craft Creations that had the Cartabella Halloween market in it. So that means I'm done with that. All I have left is scraps and I had a lot of fun. I made a folio album and then I made a fancy tag and then I've made these uh, double page layouts. So I got a lot of mileage out of that collection. It's still available if you'll check online at countrycraftcreations.com while supplies last. And be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you'll be notified of my next project. And also shop at countrycraft creations.com for all your paper collections, your supplies, your art glitter glue, score tape, and cardstock. Artisan cardstock is a really nice heavyweight linen cardstock and you'll be really pleased with your projects made from those. So thanks again. Bye-bye and have a happy Halloween.